Welcome back to Crazy Bowl TV. Thank you so well. Joining me again for another edition. This is the World Cup preview. We, we're not going to talk too much. We're just going to discuss what is coming up. I think World Cup starts on Sunday, if I want to be sure. And we uh, the Qatar versus Ecuador is the first match. We know this is going to be a party. Kudos to all those people who are making it over there. I hope they stay safe and enjoy themselves. Party hard. This is the World Cup. Cup. We've been waiting for it for a very, very, very long time. It's time for us to enjoy these festivities. I will also show you guys my bracket on who I think is going to win. I have a mental winner and then I have a heart winner. So I will explain all that when we get into it. First of all, let's discuss, you know, my favorite team is Black Stars. Black Stars from Ghana. Today they played um, Switzerland and then they beat them 2-0. Salisu from uh, Southampton scored one. Ah, brain dead on the second uh, goal scorer. And then also Japan lost to Canada 2-1. Spain beat Jordan 3-1. Morocco beat Georgia 3-0. Portugal put a hammer on the Super Pigeons. I mean, sorry, sorry. Super Eagles. Uh, they beat them four goals to nail. And of course, uh, Norway beat Republic of Ireland 2-1. So these are the, you know, the warm-up matches to the, for before the tournament starts. You know, usually in the summer, if this was in the summer, you will get about two to three matches per team playing against uh, countries that are, are India, have a similarity in India group. So Ghana playing Switzerland, it's uh, a similarity to maybe they're looking at, say, how was Portugal play, you know, because they tend to, you know, that Euro style of play. They would have probably played maybe another South American team to get ready for Uruguay, but uh, right now there's no time. Uh, I think today, tomorrow will be uh, some other matches and then party starts on Sunday. And like we said, the first, um, the first match, of course, is going to be Equator versus Qatar. Now, a lot of people, which is on Sunday, a lot of people are saying that Qatar has, you know, we know Qatar has been prepping this for about four or five years. They built that team together for about four or five years now. So a lot of matches, you know, friendly matches that we've seen them play that they've done very well. So people are thinking that they might beat Equator on this one. You know, Qatar might have a very, very good start in this World Cup. And then, of course, there was also the rumors on Twitter today talking about uh, Equator got paid $3 million to lose. I mean, we hear all these things all the time when the World Cup starts. There's always some media publication somewhere who wants to be famous and they'll come up with stories. And a lot of times they are untrue. So we hope that is it is untrue. And um, we just focus on the party because that's what we've been waiting for. Um, if you have anything to say bad about the World Cup, you should have done on your square four years years ago, eight years ago when it was given. Don't say it once and then eventually just go dead. And then when it's about to start, that's when you start talking about all this negativity. It should have never gone there in the first place. Now it's there. Let the players and the fans enjoy themselves. We move on. And then of course, Monday, there's England versus Iran, Senegal versus Netherlands, and then USA versus Wales, which it will be some. This is, uh, I believe it's a uh, group A or no, group B Group A and Group B uh, countries that are going to be playing. So all, all the matches are going to be exciting. That's why I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to show you guys my my bracket and who at the end I feel is going to win. Before Sunday start, I still will make maybe one or two adjustments because I'm still thinking about who I feel is going to win. Like I said, I have two winners, one in my head and then one in my heart. The one in the heart, you guys already know, is Black Stars. They're winning this whole thing. Take that, Billa. I told you, I'm going to share my screen and show you guys who I feel like is going to be doing well in this World Cup. So as you can see, Group A, Netherlands, I have Netherlands and Senegal going out of the group. Like I said, Qatar might do something, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Senegal, I'm still thinking between them two because Mane got an injury and we're not sure how well they're going to play without Mane. They've played all their tournaments, all their friendlies with money. This will be the first time they don't play with money for a very long time. And right now, I will have them as second. Uh, then we go to Group B, England and Wales. I feel that they are the two. Gareth Bale has a big game to play. There's a lot of ballers in this team. They are not famous, but, you know, they they, they, they are troublemakers. They made it. USA, they're not consistent enough. They might win one game maybe, but I see them losing a lot. So... 
I have on my third. Iran, I don't think they're strong enough to be in this group. Uh, group C, Argentina, of course. I mean, come on. Mexico and Poland was where I was thinking about. Uh, first, I had Poland as second, but Mexico always finds a way to get out of their group. And I don't see it stopping. They don't have those play chicharitos and those guys anymore. But I still see, you know, El Tre, they always come out. So this time, apologies to Lewandowski, but I think Mexico will come out on this group. Uh, Le Bleu, easy, and then Denmark. Denmark is a very uh, dark horse. They are a sleeper. And if people sleep on them, they're going to find out who they are. But France is way too strong, even though they have Nkunku injured. And I think he's going to miss the tournament. And I believe Benzema is not fully fit. But they, they got way too much ammunition. I was hoping Tunisia, but I don't think Tunisia have enough. Uh, group E, this group is a mess because I can be wrong on all of them. I won't be surprised that Japan even wins this. Costa Rica might cause trouble. But I guess I'm going with my head and, you know, with the history of these countries. So I have Spain. They have a lot of young up-and-coming players who are ready to go. Germany also is the same. So them two could flip up. It doesn't matter, I think. Um, I'm still thinking about that group. I'm still thinking about that group. Group F, Croatia. Modric has something to say. They have a lot of good players, young and upcoming, and then a lot of experienced players. So I feel like they will do a lot of damage in this group. Now, Belgium, I don't think Belgium is strong enough, but they got a lot of weapons. So I'm still thinking between Morocco and Belgium, who is going to come out. But I will find, I will make my final a decision by tomorrow. Uh, Canada, I know this is a Cinderella story, but this group, mm -mm, I don't think they will be strong enough to deal with uh, some of these guys. Even with Belgium, you know, they got, they got some weapons. Uh, group G, Brazil, of course. I mean, Switzerland and Serbia was the two teams that I was trying to wrestle with. I even just switched it. I thought I had Serbia a second. Now I have uh, Switzerland. And I'm, I'm, I think I'll go with it. I'll go with these two. Cameroon, they don't have those weapons like they used to anymore. This group, this is a group of death. Anything can happen in this group. But right now, I'm going with Portugal and Ghana. Uruguay might end up being in first. I'm just saying. I'm still wrestling with that group. But I know Ghana is going to make it out of that group. That's why I'm keeping them a second. The question is who's going to be first. Don't be surprised even you have Korea Republic making out of this group. So th there's so many variables to this thing that at the first glance, you think you could just go by names like Portugal. They got Ronaldo. Mm -mm. Same thing, uh, you know, 2006 when Ghana was in the group of Italy and Czech Republic. And uh, I think it was, uh, I forgot the other team. And they thought that Ghana was going to be the one left out. And it ended up being Czech who was number two rank in the world. And they could not make it out of that group. So with that, of course, this here is my round of 16 bracket. With, with the selection that I have, this is my round of 16 bracket. So I have Netherlands and Wales. And of course, I have Netherlands beating them. And then Argentina and Denmark. Argentina is way too strong. I have Argentina coming out. Um, Espanol and Belgium. Yeah, Spain. The, the youth. The youth are way too strong. And um, Brazil and Ghana. This is where I told you about my heart and my mind. And, you know, my heart my heart says Ghana beat, the African Brazil will beat Brazil, but my mind says Brazil. Uh, England and Senegal. If money was playing, I would have said Senegal. So I would just, I mean, very, very faintly give it to England. Uh, Mexico and Le Bleu. Uh, of course, France would take that one. And then Croatia, Germany. I think Germany youth will come out on this one. Portugal and Swiss. That's uh, Portugal. Um, Germany, Portugal in the quarterfinals. I choose Germany. Uh, England and France. France. And Espanol and Brazil. Brazil. And this is the Neymar versus Messi that everybody's been looking for. Uh, I think Argentina. Tina might have a little bit over Netherlands, even though Netherlands is a very strong team. I can see them doing a lot of damage in this group. I will choose Argentina for the Messi factor. Argentina versus Brazil, France versus Germany in the semis. I'm saying Brazil beat Argentina. This one, you know, Brazil laid low for Argentina for them to win the Copa America, uh, I think it was last year, just so that Messi can win a trophy because we saw how uh, Neymar was crying on the field like he lost his dog. 
And then a few seconds later, they took pictures in the locker room and he's out there sitting right beside him was Messi. Ah, uh, yeah. And I don't know how you could lose a cap and then end up chilling with your uh, opposing team captain in the same room. I know you guys are friends. If it was at the bar after the, or the restaurant or after the game, yeah, but right in the stadium, in the lock. But this one, I think Brazil, when it comes to World Cup, they don't play. They would, they would be a little bit of Argentina. And then France and Germany, I say France and the final. I'm still debating, guys. I'm still debating. Um, yes, right now I'm choosing Brazil. Tomorrow I can wake up, you know, and still change my mind and say France. This thing is not done yet until tomorrow or until the first ball is kicked by either Equator or Qatar. Yes, guys, so this is my, my um, bracket. Um, share yours, please. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree, let me know. Share yours if you can too. Thank you. The World Cup is coming. I'm excited. We, I'm going to try to preview and review a lot of the matches as much as I can because you guys know it's going to be three, four matches every day. And the time difference is crazy. So it's going to be hard to pop in our content, but we will do as much as we can so we could vibe because this is the World Cup. Best tournament bar none. All right. Thank you so well. Chrissy Bold, Archie. Peace.